Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will share an object from the permanent collection and pose questions for discussion. Check back every day at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Helen, a docent at the Art Museum. Today, we'll look at three early Japanese woodblock prints that illustrate the development of printing techniques. Along the way, we'll learn about a legendary duel between a famous samurai and a warrior monk, heroes who are the subjects of kabuki plays, prints, and video games. Court Lady reading from Cam's collection shows one of the earliest Japanese woodblock prints, a book illustration by the artist Hisakawa Morinobu from the 1680s in plain black and white. But the growing middle class in Japan wanted color. Publishers obliged by hand coloring prints, but it was a slow process. The next print shows the first efforts to produce color woodblock prints, a faster way to meet the demand for color compositions and more thrilling subjects. Yoshitsune and Benkei on Gojo Bridge by Ishikawa Toyonobu as from the early 1760s. Toyonobu used a long, thin vertical format to emphasize the victory of the samurai, Minamoto Yoshitsune, over the warrior monk, Benkei. According to legend, the confrontation occurred on Gojo Bridge in Kyoto in 1274. Benkei hated samurai and had already defeated 999 of them and confiscated their swords, the ultimate insult. Benkei was notorious for his great strength and ferocity. Legend says that he carried seven weapons and could not be defeated. Here you can see the bundle of weapons on his back, including a broad axe, saw, wooden mallet, and naginata, a type of spear. Looking for his 1,000th and final victim, Benkei met Yoshitsune, just 15 years old. Here was an easy victory, he thought. However, the young Yoshitsune, although small, was an accomplished swordsman and acrobat. He was the son of a general killed during a war in 1258, just after Yoshitsune was born. His mother fled Kyoto and hid her son in a monastery. At that time, many monks trained as warriors. Legend says that Yoshitsune learned his great sword skills from a mountain goblin while he was at the monastery. How did Yoshitsune defeat the bigger man? He jumped onto the bridge railing and avoided Benkei's sword strokes, then defeating Benkei with Benkei's own naginata. After that, Benkei became a loyal retainer to Yoshitsune, serving beside him in the Genpei War of 1285, which established the first shogun. The print shows the historic confrontation, not a scene from a kabuki play. How do we know that? Look closely at Benkei's face. It shows determination, but there's no kabuki makeup making it even more ferocious. This is a Benier print, the earliest color prints using just Benny, a rose color, and an organic green. It is a bit faded, but remember, the print is 360 years old. Eighty years after Toyonobu's print, Utagawa Kunisada designed Yoshitsune receives the secret scroll of military strategy from Minazura Hime in 1843. This eight-color triptych shows how printers had perfected color printing and illustrates another legend about Yoshitsune that he became a genius on the battlefield thanks to a scroll of military secrets to success. Did you enjoy learning about a legendary samurai hero and a mighty warrior monk? In Cam's print, how did colors heighten their confrontation? What artworks do you like that use color to build excitement? The story of Yoshitsune and Benkei still thrills kabuki audiences and video gamers today. Thanks for joining us on Cam Look.